1035 KTU, the beat of New York. It's the twins, Lulu and Lala. And I'm excited, Lala. Yes. We have the man of the hour. We've been anticipating this. I was actually kind of nervous. I don't know what he's going to say. Of course, we're talking about Dave Portnoy. How are you, man? I'm good. How are you guys? Good. When we got the word, we were like, oh, hell yeah, we're going to interview him. That's a no brainer. So you have a lot going on. Always, yep, I do. Um, good, bad, and it's always great. Um, big pizza festival happening here in Coney Island. One by Pizza Festival. What can the Tri-State expect from this festival? So if you like pizza, we were able to put together the best pizza places under one roof ever. Like I've seen other festivals and they never have the heavy hitters. This festival, I don't care. You can go around and ask anybody really in New York, like what's your favorite pizza place? And they're probably there. Like, I mean, I've been doing pizza reviews now for a decade and I have a really hard scoring system. Like it's tough <laughs> to get the eights and nines. I've probably given out 20 nines in like a decade. Half of them are there. I mean, it's Sally's, Lucali, John's Oblique, or you name it, and they're there. So it should be great pizza um, and a great afternoon. Let me you want to, okay. Oh. <laughs> you guys do that a lot? Yes, yes, we do, and it's not planned, and sometimes it could be annoying for both us and the person we're interviewing. But how did this whole idea come up about? Is this something that you've always been wanting to do, or did it just happen to just fall into it? So a lot of people have always been like, hey, because they start popping up Pizza Fest, be like, Dave, why don't you do it? And I was always hesitant because I didn't want to put my name on something that had middle of the road pizza places. I was yeah. always like, well, I'll do it if the best places are there. But I knew that would be really hard because you need the ovens. Like a like these great pizza places aren't gonna go if they can't make the pizza they're known for. So there's a company called Medium Rare that throws events. Like they've done Gronk Beach at the Super Bowl, Guy Fieri Cookout, uh, they did Travis Kelsey at the Super Bowl. And they reached out to me to kind of do like a DJ event. I'm too old, I don't. that's not like my vibe anymore. I'm not like, you know, fist bumping. And, and I said, listen, if you guys can put together a pizza event and yet I gave them a list. I'm like, here's the places. If these guys say yes, fine, I'll do it. And they handle the logistics of, you know, the ovens, the fire, all the hard stuff that one no part of. And they got these places to commit. So once they did that, I was all in. Now let me, I'm going to take a way back. When do you remember the very first time you ever reviewed a pizza? And then when did that idea of you going out there and testing the waters and different pizzerias, when did that all happen? So what happened was probably a little over a decade ago, myself and another guy who I work with, Big Cat, we got and just, we always have these weird debates. And it was, if you could eat one food the rest of your life, what would it be? He said burritos, I said pizza. And then we're like, let's do it. Let's see how long, we, so for like a month, he just ate burritos, I just ate pizza, and people would be asking like, was it any good? So that's where I was just like, all right, I'll take one bite and give you your score. And I could tell it resonated, like people were starting to get into what the rating would be. And I, then I just said, I'll try them all. I'll just, fine, I'll start doing it daily. So that's where it came from. It wasn't like some grand plan. It, it really started out of that debate. No, once you take a bite into a pizza, do you automatically know where your rating is going to be? Like, oh, this I is have a, a general one. idea, but yeah. like it, people who are really familiar with my scoring system, an eight is a mega score. Like, if you get yeah. the eights, that basically means I think somebody should travel to try it. So, in between a seven point nine and an eight point one is probably the hardest decision I make on a on a review. Do you feel bad when you have to like give a bad review or you just don't like it is what it is like you deal with it? I don't do it anymore. I used to really give bad reviews and I used to just walk to the nearest place. I wasn't doing any research on it, but I would I would give a very bad review. And I think people actually appreciate that, like yeah. because you don't most food reviews are all decent. I can't do it anymore. Like I walk in, I see the owner, I talk to them. So my scale is way, way higher than it used to be because I don't, even if I don't like it, I'll try to come up with a way why, I just can't be that mean. You talk to the owner for 20 minutes inside and then you yeah. go outside like his pizza sucks. That's a hard thing to do. <laughs> yeah. Now the million dollar question of course is, I mean, I'm sure you've, you're tired of talking about it, but pineapple on a pizza. Yay, I nay. I'm against. You're I'm against a... it. Yes, right? Yeah. Okay. But I mean, <laughs> that. 
there, that's, a, yeah, you're right. A lot of people debate that one, and the pineapple crowd stands by it. But no, I, I don't the, like pineapple pizza. What's the one ingredient that you should, one topping, I mean, that you should never, ever put on a pizza besides pineapple? Yeah, well, pineapple's there. I don't like any of the wacky places. Like, you, you'll see anything. Macaroni and cheese you'll see on it. You'll see, like, buffalo chicken. I, toppings, if you go to an old school pizza place, max, they're going to have, like, three to five, like, pepperoni, sausage, peppers, mushrooms. That's, like, it. That's generally what, like, a real pizzeria will have. Um, have you ever had a... Because Hispanic Heritage Month is right around the corner, it kicks off tomorrow. Have you ever had a pupusa pizza? No, what? Maybe. What is that? Do you know? Well, do you know what a pupusa is? No. Okay, That's why so I don't know if I've had it, and I don't know what you guys are, so I don't know. So like, I, there, is it a? I, go ahead, say what it is. We're Cuban Salvadorian, so on the Salvadorian side, their main dish is una pupusa, right? Which is it's kind of like. Um, uh, it's a tortilla to get two tortillas, but you have cheese and I guess um, that's meat. That's not pizza. That's not. That's well, not the thing is though that now they've gotten creative. So okay. now you have the pupusa, but now you put the ingredients of a pizza, pizza and you combine on top. And you Interesting. Combine I haven't had it. I thought I wasn't sure if you were going the other way. Like there is an area I live half the year in Miami and in Hialeah, and there's Cuban pizza everywhere. Like, and yes. I've done all those. We lived in Florida and this was not the same at all. I don't know if it's the water. What, what do you think it is that they just can't get it? Or maybe we're being biased because we live in New York now. You are, there's some good one, but Miami pizza is actually on the come up. There's a couple of places that are pretty good. Now, not all of them, like Frank Pepe's, which is New Haven and like <laughs> a very famous pizzeria. They opened one in Florida and it stinks. So I don't know, it's like the bagel thing. I, I don't know what it is. What if they could create a pizza after you? What do you think it would look like? Or what toppings would it have? And would you want that? Yeah, it would be a boring ass pizza. It would look great if you just appreciated like um, like a girl with no makeup on. You know, it, <laughs> it, it would be very like a John's a bleaker, a Sally's. It would be well done, charred, crispy, but it wouldn't be a boring look. It, it no toppings, none of that. Just and what it. Would there be a special name for it? Would you want a special name or would it just be no. your name? No, it's like a plain Jane. It would be like the girl next door. Simple. I like that. All right, so it's going down. You're going to have Teddy Swims also in, in that. Awesome. Did you have any say in that or it just also happened? Yeah, I picked to... him. You picked him. Okay, so how was yeah. that conversation? Did you DM him? Did you call him up? And I how DM'd him. Was I, I sent a DM and I was like, hey, we're doing this pizza fest. Uh, we had never talked. I'm like a big fan and we're looking for like a headliner. And he's like, yeah, I, I'm a huge fan. He actually, his schedule was hard. So he had to really like bend it to make it work for us. Yeah, he's, he's so actually cool. in the building. We, we have- He's unbelievable. He, he is going to be a monster star yes. in the next couple of years. I mean, he's awesome. Yeah, I got to see him perform and I was blown away. He's, he's yeah. awesome. Yeah, you also have our boy DJ Irie that's going to be spinning. Yep. Great. Yep. And again, you can actually buy your tickets right now at onebypizzafest.com. Going down next weekend, September 23rd, in Brooklyn, Coney Island. Coney I'm Island. excited. Yeah. Are we invited? Yeah, come. We'll okay, get your great. tickets. If you like pizza, it's the place to be. And you like Teddy Swims, so there you go. Yeah, exactly. It's great. It's going to be, it's just going to be one big yeah amazing uh, festival one last question though for football it's, it's back the season's back do you think that pizza or wings which is the popular one well obviously you go for pizza but oh, yeah we go for pizza fest, but they go together i mean they, that's hand in hand i i think if you're doing like a tailgate you kind of need both we will have by the way it's college football saturday so we will have all the games on like on the big screen 10 different games so i know that's important generally pizza football all of it goes together great right. Well, thank you so much for, you know, chatting it up with, with us. us. And uh, we will, can't wait to see you September 23rd. We'll be there. Okay, thank you, guys.